Hey you guys, welcome back to Be Merle. I'm back you guys with a word. I pray this word blesses you guys. Um, and yeah, I, to, I'm gonna be very honest, I have not been feeling it today. I'm like, let me go to the gym, let me eat something, and maybe my mood will change. But I just woke up just like, you know, just wanting to be very to myself. And so oftentimes, you know, I was just talking to my group today and I was saying how there's spiritual warfare and I forgot about these you know pagan dates and holidays but it being Friday the 13th and I'm like oh my gosh like that's probably why I feel a specific way and so yeah we rebuke all of that we rebuke every demonic stronghold and entity all of that I just don't understand how people celebrate this but it's crazy to me um but I, that's probably the reason why I'm feeling a specific way. But the Lord's holding me, he's holding me down, okay? <laughs> Just like he is for so many of us. Um, but I wanted to share, you know, as I was working out in the gym, I was listening to a message and I was just like, Lord, I just, I just want to, you know, decompress while I'm here. And I spent that time wisely by hearing a word. And so as I was just, uh, you know, in the middle of um, doing cardio on the treadmill, um, it was like the Lord was saying, I am the great I am, meaning he built us up in his greatness. He is great. Everything God does is good and he's great. And so he was sharing with me that during this time, there's so many things happening like behind the scenes that we can't see but we just have to trust God and he was showing me how we are built up in greatness so one thing he he did share with me that I know this is going to bless somebody today um what you once did in a previous season in a previous season is not going to work for the next season now do you take the tools and the knowledge and the wisdom and the growth that you walked into with the Lord into wherever he's taking you? Absolutely. You'll never stop growing in God and learning, being a student. Um, and he was saying how, you know, he is good. He's taking us into the new with him. So he wants to do a new thing in this season of our lives. Um, many people are transitioning. Uh, many people are are you know going into new locations and moving and some people some many people are building up businesses companies like christian faith-based companies but more so god wants to do a new thing he wants to elevate us and by elevation he's talking about in wisdom and in his knowledge and in instruction we are not meant to stay the same with him we are meant to go from glory to glory with god and he's been having me like talk about this for quite some time but God is allowing our spaces and our environments to really shrink, to feel small around us because he's expanding our territory. He wants us to get uncomfortable, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. He wants us to, to know where, where um, those spaces are shrinking, but where it's outweighing, like what he's doing in our lives is outweighing those small spaces. See, we were in those seasons to learn, to grow, to prune, to stretch, to, to just really put on the mantles of God, to get to know God and really know him for ourselves. We've been going through those seasons, but now he's saying, now I want to expand your territory because I'm with you and I'm within you, meaning you are great and the things that your hands will touch and the places that you will step into and the people that you will meet will become great because I am great. He's the great I am. So as I was on the treadmill, I just, I felt so much better. I felt so much better because I just got this revelation, this word, and that's exactly what I needed to hear. There was so much peace in what God was telling me and, and showing me because when you go through it and you can't see what's happening, but you're trusting God and you're you're waiting on God, waiting on God for a word, waiting on God to move, and he finally comes through, it is a blessing. And so if if maybe you've been feeling not stuck, but necessarily as though you've just been feeling like, okay, God, what's the next move? What am I supposed to be doing? You've been waiting. I know I have. God is coming through on your behalf. 
he wants to make sure you are postured knowing that he's doing a new thing and for many people pray about this word pray over this word that god blesses this word into your life that this is a confirmation to you so just know he's making a way he's doing incredible things and he's doing great things that we get to partake in because we're his children and he loves us so there's a lot of deception going on a lot of illusions from the enemy he wants us to focus on confusion focus on doubt focus on depression focus on all these things that keep us away from god and god's truth god's word and what god's doing in our lives we have to celebrate and and show the lord give him thanksgiving pray without stopping just pray without ceasing do not stop praying praying is your weapon so even though guess what the opposition may come those attacks may come but we have the authority to bind it. But most importantly, God always comes through and he rescues us. Amen. So he's about to do a new thing in your life. He's about to show up in your life that even your enemies who were talking against you and, ple and and just plotting against you, he's about to show up as God, the one seated on his throne and no one can mess with God. Amen. So I pray this word blesses you guys. Walk into the newness. Celebrate the newness. God is great. He is great and he's the great I am. God bless you guys.